Hey, it's Joe Tamargo from WetheadPumpRepair.com. All right, we have a special guest today, Joseph Jr., my son. And Joseph Jr. is going to be showing you how to work on a Hayward Super Pump. All right, so remember, hit the subscribe button below. All parts are available at WetheadPumpRepair.com. All right, so Joseph Jr. today is going to show us how to loosen the back of the motor. All right, go ahead there, Joseph. Uh, well, first thing you're going to do is you need a uh, nut driver, just as Joseph has here. And you're going to turn the bolts to the left, Lucy. Lefty or lefty Lucy. Now, once you remove those bolts, you'll be able to access the back motor switch and all that other good stuff. So that's why we're loosening this part first. Now, in this video series, we're going to be showing you how to change the seal, how to change the gaskets, how to change the bearings, and completely overhaul your Hayward Super Pump. All right, so you can see Joseph is a really fast worker. He's already down on the second bolt here. So remember, there's two bolts in the back of this motor. Okay, you got one on the top and one on the bottom. This is the Hayward Super Pump. You can see Joseph there is now loosening the second uh, screw. Okay, so now after both screws are loosened, what you want to do is you want to shake this cover off by twisting it back and forth a little. Okay, just like this. Okay, there you go. Nice job, man. All right, keep going. Pull the cover all the way off to show these people. Okay, now sometimes if the cover doesn't pull off just like that, what you want to do is you want to put your nut driver back on it just like that. Yep, go ahead. And you want to loosen the screws because sometimes it feels really loose, but you have a couple more turns. So all right, he's going to do the top one, do the bottom one one more time too. That way, there you go. Perfect, perfect. All right, so now we're going to give that go one more time and pull it off. And there you go. Nice job. The back of the cover is off. So there you go. Now you can see the capacitor, the motor switch, and all the other good stuff. All right, so when we come back, uh, Joseph Jr. is going to be showing us how to remove the motor switch, uh, which you can see right there. It's gray. It looks like a triangle. All right, so take it easy. All parts are available at wetheadpumprepair.com. Uh, thanks, Joseph Jr., for showing us how to remove the back of the motor, and we'll see you in the next video. Peace.